Wind at his back. The ball driven into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Joe. And York, who struggled in warm-ups, missing wide left frequently, does so when it matters. And for the first, he cannot come back. Huge loss for the Gators. Just getting Jabari Zuniga, the other pass rush bookend, healthy. And now a busted hole. Edwards Hilaire is in the clear. It's a foot race. And the Gators will finally chase him down inside the 10. An explosive run for the local product. A good job by the right guard, Damian Lewis. The tight end, Thaddeus Moss coming through, does a nice job. He'll come through and lead, but watch the block right here by the right guard, 68. Gets his back turned to the hole, opens it up, and that hole just opened up in a big way for the Tigers. They're playing fast in the red zone. Burrow zips it across the middle. Caught! Touchdown! Jamar Chase! An electric two-play scoring drive. And LSU continues the fast start. Missed a field goal the first possession. Find the end zone. A couple of plays covering 66 yards, and that's the first touchdown the Gators have allowed in the first quarter all year. Well, the run obviously sets up the touchdown pass for Joe Burrow. They go with a big run, come back the very next play. This is LSU inside the 10-yard. Trask, play action, survey, flips it across the middle, back in the end zone, touchdown to Grimes. And the first time Rhodes Tarter looked cool on that drive, didn't he? Boy, he sure did. Showed patience this time. Again, give the offensive line a lot of credit. LSU only rushing three. Grimes working from the outside. Hammond works inside out, and Grimes works from the outside in. And they fake it to him, and Burrow over the middle. Delivers a dart, caught by Jefferson. Justin Jefferson slips a tackle, step out of bounds. Back near the 4 to 30, I believe. A great route by Justin Jefferson. He and Joe Burrow have been in sync all year long. They're playing zone. They get behind the linebacker in front of the safety. And Mc McMath, 17, did a nice job of clearing out the zone there to open up and give Justin Jefferson. Burrow, pump fakes, scanning the end zone, rolling out, fires a dart, caught. Is it a touchdown? Jefferson was right in the pylon, and he did get in. Not much room. Progressive pylon cam will show whether or not he did break the plane with that football. It was very close, but Burrow again showing that confidence. And again, fighting through a lot of physicality there by Trey Dean. Aggressive pylon cam showing you that is great concentration. Yeah, he's in the end zone for the touchdown. How about Burrow's athletic ability to get dip underneath the pressure, scramble to his right, and eventually finds Jefferson being able to pull away for that touchdown. Official's hat bringing us that view. So of the two top receivers, Jamar Chase and now Justin Jefferson, have each caught touchdown passes in the first half on bullet throws from Joe Burrow. He's got 24 touchdown passes this season. Yeah, nice job. Look at his eyes downfield. He's scrambling for his life, but he keeps his eyes and his poise. Play action. Trask has some time. Takes a downfield shot, and it's a diving play by Pitts. Athletic tight end. Went up and got it. Well, that's the matchup. Pitts against Delpit. Pitts, who's a great tight end at 6'6". Delpit, one of the best players in college football at 6'3". Loves to be challenged to play man-to-man, -man, but Kyle Trask makes that play. Pretty good coverage by Delpit. Puts it up high where the big fella Pitts can go up and... Jones looking to throw. Lobs into the end zone. Jump ball. Caught. Touchdown off the carom by Piran. You need a little luck sometimes in Death Valley when you're the visitors. Wow. How about the throw? Justin Thomas actually has Emory Jones. They didn't fall for it. Watch him right here. He's able to get off of the block and get into the backfield. They slip Piran out into the flat. Look at Jones working. He, he's falling back a fadeaway. He's got two receivers out there in Pitts and Piran. 
against one defender. He puts it up, hoping that somebody makes a play clean. Burrow, another throw on first down, and it's caught. And it's Thaddeus Moss working free stiff arm. He's dragged down by Sean Davis in Florida territory. I, what I love to watch with Joe Burrow is just to watch his mind work, watch him drop back and work through progressions. He's looking underneath, goes to the next level, sees the match up there with Moss that matched up against the safety Davis, throws the ball accu accurately and in rhythm. Another first down. At 25 yards, Moss fired up. He's from Charlotte. First time his dad has ever had a chance to see him play in person at LSU. So, you know, he wants to put on a good show. Burrow 10 of 11 now. Edward Zeller, big crease, bust into the open, down the sidelines, touchdown, Tigers. Sometimes when Burrow in the passing game doesn't do anything, they still affect the play, Chris. Ventrell Miller, the linebacker, watch how slow he is, worried about play action pass to Phil. Waiting, waiting, waiting. By the time he reacts, the back here, Edwards Elaire is gone. So they have prepped all week on. He Trask looking to his left, zips it short in heavy traffic, caught for a touchdown by Van Jefferson. Another long, impressive drive by this Gators offense. Well, his father's probably watching if he's not here. Sean Jefferson, who played in the NFL, now a coach in the NFL. And look at the technique by Van and then the hands by Van. This is why you practice the jugs and you work and work and work. Little pull there, but it didn't matter. Jefferson, a great route, and I love this part. Extending, using those hands. Trask pumps, delivers, touchdown, Jefferson. It was 11 to 12 throughout the drive. Jefferson hit hard after he caught it. But four oh, catches on the drive, and the Gators are on top. Yeah, a big hit there by Divinity after the catch as he was going down. Van Jefferson, a great drive. Watch Trask pump fake. Thought he might go to the outside, but instead he has the option to come back to the inside. And there's the big hit there by the linebacker, 45. Yeah, Jefferson turning his back with the 240-pounder. Boom, just trying to dislodge yep. the football. Clean play in, in your yeah, view? I think it looked clean. It looked obviously really physical. Look, see, he's showing fade. He shows fade. He caught Trask off guard. He almost threw the fade. And then... Edward Soler. Sidestep traffic. Look at him drive and muscle into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And he has such great lateral quickness, the jump cut, to be able to bounce this. There's, there's actually penetration here inside, right there. That's where the hole is designed. But see how quick he gets outside? And then the physicality. I thought the ball almost came loose there. But low center of gravity, quickness, power, balance, everything you're looking for, and a great back. More and more NFL backs are built like Edwards Hilaire. Get on top of it. And now busting into the clear. Davis Price scores a touchdown to put the Tigers back in front. Welcome to college football, young fella. His third touchdown, but that's the biggest by far. Late movement, some confusion, Chris. Up front by Florida. They're trying, look right here. They're trying to get a defensive lineman over here. And they get him over late, but it's a little too late. Makes it easy for that right side of the offensive line to be able to get a hat on a hat. And then the fresh left. They fake it to P. Ryan Trask, looking to throw to the end zone. Diving pick. Derek Stingley made the pick. He'd been picked on all night. And now he makes the Tigers' biggest defensive play. That is a big time play. He gets beat, as you said, against Jefferson. Tough second half. Gets looked at on the sideline. Maybe concussion protocol comes back. And I want you to watch and really see the technique that he plays with. Watch his eyes. Watch how he's looking back, anticipating the football, able to adjust and find the ball. So the location, the anticipation, and the eyes on the ball gave Stingley a chance to make that. 
Five receiver look. Burrow steps up and will take a downfield shot and has Chase and he'll score. Fifty four yards. Dink, dunk, dink, dunk. And finally, Kirk, they strike deep. Well, they had Edwards Elaire, the running back out the outside. He kind of sets a pick there. And Ventrell Miller, the linebacker, gets in the way of the defensive back there. Be a time on the clock. Trask has time. Delivers. Intercepted. Picked up by Christian Fulton in a foot race. A flag is down. They drag him down at the 35. Chris, I, this this may be a personal foul. Could be a personal foul on LSU. They came in very low in submarine trask as he threw the football. It's either going to be a holding call or a submarine shot by LSU's defense. Now it was Marcel Brooks, that true freshman pass rusher. They brought in fresh legs who dove low. Yeah, and that's a no-no with a quarterback. He had a few things. He had hands in the face. He had a, watch nine, how low he goes on Trask. Hits him down low. It, it might be a, might be okay there. Shoulder pad kind of on the right hip of the quarterback. And here's James Carter. There were two fouls on the play, both against the defense. Personal foul, roughing the passer, low hit on the quarterback, number nine. After the return, number seven of the intercepting team, unsportsmanlike conduct. Both fouls will be enforced half the distance. Automatic first down. So it is. Option look, Trask. Slam to the ground by Chason. LSU makes a stand, and they're going to survive tonight in Death Valley. Yeah, just too slow developing play. Damn, well, this play.